So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. You can see that we have a table here. Um, let's check out this table before we continue on. So our first column here says that we have a pound of sugar, 12 eggs, a pound of potatoes, and we have a price for each of those things. The table shows the prices of three items. Yep, we got that. So this is all on January 15th, 1913. So the actual question here says on January 15th, 1913, Ayana purchased eggs and potatoes for a total of 80 cents. Okay, so obviously she bought more than just one of each of these things. Because if she only bought one, this would just be a total of 39 cents. So I'm going to say she bought eggs. So E plus P is equal to 0 0.80. She purchased 24 eggs. So we know that she purchased 24 eggs. We also know that the cost for 12 eggs is 37 cents. So she purchased two of those, she purchased two dozen eggs. So I'm gonna say this is 0 0.37 times two plus potatoes is equal to 80 cents. How many pounds of potatoes did she purchase? All right, so let's do the math here. So this is the calculator section. So you know, feel free to use the calculator liberally. So 0.37 times two is gonna be 0.74. So that's 0 0.74. I'll put my dollar sign there. So 74 cents plus whatever the cost of potatoes are is equal to my 80 cents. And then of course I can subtract this 0 0.74 from both sides. And my potatoes in terms of cost should be six cents. Now we know also from the table, again, hence diagram, we always go back there for reference. Um, a pound of potatoes costs two cents. So if one pound of potatoes costs two cents, but we know that Ayana has spent six cents on potatoes, that tells us that she has purchased three pounds, right? So she's purchased three pounds because three times two cents would be six cent. And therefore our answer is choice A. So don't be confused. Some students might unfortunately choose B because they see six here and they see six here. But that would be something that you do by not, first of all, not reading the question carefully, how many pounds, and this is not pounds, this is a dollar amount. Um, and second of all, by not focusing on the fact that we have a diagram here for a reason and we want to utilize the information in that table that's been provided. So the correct answer again is choice A, three pounds.